Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is our fourth day aboard the Disney Magic and today is our back-to-back -back day so we are actually transferring onto the next cruise which is a four-nighter. Let's go. So today's breakfast we're at Lumiere's but I will warn on your final day the queue will be massive so maybe arrive a little bit before your arrival time because you'll be queuing for quite a while. Here we are. So the breakfast menu for the final day is slightly different and I think shorter or less items mm -hmm. than the rest of the time. But I'm sure if you have something specific in mind they would probably still make it for you. I'm gonna ask for the allergy waffles anyway. Ooh, that's cute. See you real soon. So we're now in the Keys Lounge. If you're doing back to back on the morning of your next cruise, once everybody starts to get off, you'll be sent to the Keys Lounge. I think here we have to take another COVID test before we're then kind of released back onto the boat to do whatever we want. We have our negative results. We're now heading to Oak Gills. Also, there's literally like about 15 people doing back to back, so it's gonna be such a quiet ship. I might take you guys on a little tour in a bit. So while we're waiting in here for our rooms to be ready, they have like a little refreshment station which has teeny tiny burgers. We now have our second cruise card and we've been told that our room will be ready to be accessed from 11.30, which is pretty good. So the pool opens at 12.45 and then we're going for lunch at Rapunzel's at one, which I think is only for people that are doing back-to-back, -back, so there's literally gonna be nobody there. It's basically 11 o'clock. We're now free to do whatever we want for the next however many hours until people start getting on, which is pretty cool. Are we gonna it's literally deserted. This is about 10 people on the whole ship. The answer. So we are now at our new room. I'll give you guys a little tour. As you walk in, this is what you can see. This one does have the separate toilet and shower situation. So it's literally just a toilet in this room. And then in here, we have a bath again. Usually you don't get a bath. All the shampoos, etc., And then the sink area. There's the exact same wardrobe as last time, which may be a struggle now with an extra person, but you know. We have adjoining rooms, but we don't have friends. So th that will be random people. Actually, we have extra drawers over here. So this, this time the main bed is here. We have the same mirror, the double bed. On this side, there's like a cabinet. Let's see what's in here. An empty drawer. This is good. This is a lot better storage wise, a little cupboard. And then as you come over here, this is now the sofa bed with the like ceiling bed up there and the same little table. And then we have all of this, which I don't think we had any of this last time, did we? So we have the fridge again. We have this cupboard up here again, which is the same as we had in the last room. But then we have a bunch of extra little tiny drawers, which I mean, <gasps> they're the double ones. So they look like it's two drawers, but it's only one. So we can have, oh yeah. But I feel like that's still better than that big mirror. And then the best bit, the balcony if we can get out hello yeah there we go and we're out has two little chairs and a table and now we've got one and this is our view of liverpool now this is cool and then this is what it looks like from this side. They said our room will be ready by 11.30, but it's actually only 11. We literally, from that last clip, we literally just came straight upstairs and our room is all ready here. Our suitcases are here, so we literally are completely reset, ready for the next cruise now. We're not kind of just waiting around for anything to happen. We're now gonna unpack and then we'll head out to see what else we can do this morning while we kind of wait for activities and stuff to start this afternoon. Oh my gosh, there's actually no one. This is insane. Not a single guest. <gasps> Look at the pool. It's got a net on it. The drinks bit. There's literally nobody here at all. The pool's got a cover on it. So this is the main kids pool section. Giant TV which now currently has a map on it of where we're going which is pretty cool. The two hot tubs. This is Pinocchio's Pizzeria, it's short at the moment. So yesterday we got caught out by this a little bit. It shuts between six and half nine for pizza. And I think some of the other food places 
are like that as well. So if you want food, like if you're on late seating for dinner and you want to eat, make sure you come before six because otherwise everything will be shut. This is actually crazy. We're gonna see if we can have a peek into Edge, which is the, I think, 11 to 14's kids club. Just open it. Don't think there's anybody in here. Oh, there's nobody in here. Let's just have a look around. So yeah, this this looks really cool. So you can play computer games on these screens, and then there's just like places to play games and stuff. I don't. Maybe they show movies here or something. Yeah. And then oh, Guitar Hero, cool. And then just like I think they do like crafts and stuff and then they get the here. Box. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. I kind of wish I was a kid. I think we should go and look if we can look at Vibe as well, because that's 14 to 17. And we might get to go and see the little Toy Story bit. Yeah. Okay, we're going to try and do as much of a tour as we can before people start getting on. But obviously there's some bits we might not be allowed to go to, so we will see what we can do. So this is the adult area. Wait, the pool is all closed for now. But this is like the bar section. The adult pool, there's two hot tubs, and then just like a bunch of sunbathing. But also in the adult area, there's like squishy sunbeds. So this is a spa. We kind of got this on earlier. I obviously can't go in because I don't think it's actually open at the moment, but this is like the entrance to the spa. So that, this is the, the adult section. The funnel is over here where Palo is. We might ask if we can have a little look in there. So this is the concierge section. I can't see what's going on. I'll get you a little view. This is where Vibe is, which is the other kids club, which is 14 to 17. See if they'll let us in. Okay, let's see what we can do. This is so cool. I wish I was 14 to 17. No, it's short. I don't want to be breaking in. Okay. Go on then. Oh god, it's like a long <laughs> <laughs> okay, so apologies about that. We can't go and have a look in the bag because we don't want to get thrown off the ship. Once we depart, we might be able to do that because then they can't just throw us off. Operation hours, it opens at 2. 1 a.m. Oh my god. Watch yesterday's vlog. This is the slide that I wimped out of going on. So. <laughs> I don't think so. We'll see. Maybe after mixology, if we get onto that, I might be tempted. Yeah, I might have feeling a bit braver. So this is the, what's it called, Aqua Lab. We haven't been able to look before because obviously there's like little children playing, which seems a bit unfair to video, but now it's completely empty. So this is Twist and Spout. So we've been on that. Watch yesterday's vlog if you want to see. I videoed on it with the little GoPro. And then this is the Aqua Lab. So it has like these things. These all shoot out water. Yeah, everything. It's, it's kind of like shallow. So like there's no water on the floor. Oh yeah, that's like basically a paddling pool, which is really good for like toddlers. And then there's a splash zone over there. Let's have a look at that. That's cute, for, like really little ones. You can just go in there, yeah. Right, so we're now gonna go to deck five to see if we can look at the other kids' clubs, which are like the younger kids. We don't know if we'll get in, but we'll have a go. No, we haven't actually. Oh, that door shut, so whatever's through there, we can't see. Their rooms, their rooms, don't matter. Never mind, I take it back. I don't ever remember seeing this. Right, what's here? We've well, not been on this floor. Oh, that's the theatre. Okay, so this is like the cinema, basically. We haven't actually been in here yet, so that's good. So that's the nursery. No, it's temporarily closed. But it's closed because there's nobody on the boat. No, no, I don't think no. it's open anyway. It's had a little lock on the map. Okay, so that isn't open. If you have a baby, you can't get rid of them. This is the Ocean Air Club, but it's also closed, so we can't have a look in there. Okay, <laughs> this is the lobby. We haven't actually been up here. We've not been on deck five once. <laughs> this is the Ocean Air Lab. I'm guessing it's probably closed. Oh. No, but there's another door. Oh, I, can't, I feel like that's, that's going to have an alarm on it. Like the one we alarmed. Yeah, we, 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 won't, we won't test it. But this is the D Lounge, where we did karaoke on night one. So this is obviously more in depth what it actually looks like. It's not that interesting, it's just a lounge with a stage at the front and a bar in the corner. So this is like all the art they have for sale, or some of the art they have for sale. I know it's actually really good. I'd buy that one on that one. Or I'd buy any of them to be honest. Hello. Oh, it's open. Let's have a sneaky peek. Should I just go for it? Okay, so we're just gonna sneak in. <laughs> got an open kitchen. 
we're back to the top of the ship. I'm getting mad Sweet Life on Deck vibes. If anybody's kind of around my age and watch Sweet Life on Deck, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about right now. So we're wanting to go for a run, so we need to get changed, but we've been locked out, so I think we're just gonna sneak under. What? Apparently the shoes are out of control. This is three people's worth of shoes, and we're all wearing a pair. So I don't know why we brought so many and how many Debbie's gonna bring, but it is a little bit out of control. <laughs> so we've come back to the room and we have new silver lanyards and another backpack. So that is very nice to add to our collection. Not that we need a second one, but if you're already silver and then you do back to back, you'll get an extra. But this is Sam's second cruise now because obviously she's been on back to back with us and they haven't given her one. So we're going to go and ask them about it. And her new Key to the World card also doesn't have Silver Castaway Club member written on it. So I feel like if you do back to back, but it's your first and then your second cruise, it's not the same as doing your second and third or more than that. Come we on. have successfully run, hence why I look a little bit red in the face. And we're a little bit late for lunch. We're about five minutes late. So we are he now heading to Rapunzel's for lunch and it's only the people that are doing back to backs so there's going to be literally about 15 people in there eating lunch with us so they're sitting at everybody next to the window because there's so few people <laughs> that's well good apparently this is supposed to be a shirt I'm guessing or have we just made it up like a blazer yeah, we, made it up. we ran for 24 minutes but Strava seems to think we only ran for 16 so basically if you do choose to run on the boat even when it's stationary it does not understand we did not in fact run seven and a half minute miles <laughs> otherwise it thinks one of my achievements was that I ran half a mile in two minutes and six seconds as much as I would like to say that I did that I in fact did not do that <laughs> so that's our nice little route that we apparently ran so I don't know if this is a menu that's only for people that are doing back to back or what the situation is. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Anyway, if you are vegan, this penate pasta, you can have it without the cheese. Also, I'll just do a quick scan of the menu for anybody that's interested what is on this. And we are at Rapunzel's. So we've all gone for the uh, penne pasta. Mine's oh, no. without cheese. What? And this is the one with the cheese. So this is the welcome aboard Sunday. Obviously not vegan, just a disclaimer, but it looks really nice. And then I have done pretty well too on pudding today. I've got, I'm guessing, raspberry or strawberry and mango sorbet. So we've just come back to our room and this was on the door. So it's just a letter basically saying thanks for doing a back-to-back -back cruise. Ta-da! She's never gonna see you. She won't hit. Oh my god, that was an echo! That was an echo! So we're here for Disney trivia and there's only one other team. So if we've got a chance to win, this is it. Seventeen. Yeah, by far. I think we've come second out of two. <laughs> I didn't Great. See it. Okay, give me a wave if you've got one or more correct. Whee! Yay! Yay! There we winners. go. Your winner's in my heart. <laughs> Five or more. Woo! Ten or more. Woo! See, you're already doing better than you're letting on. <laughs> Fifteen or more. Yeah. Okay, let me go back to ten. Eleven. Woo! Twelve. Woo! <laughs> doing the tour and I gave you guys a sneak peek of the concierge lounge it turns out it's that right there and you can see it from over here so it wasn't actually that much of a sneak peek we, we, we took a while to figure that out but there you go we got room service I've never had room service in my whole life this is the best thing ever especially because it comes with these that's the best bit so this ta-da key lime pie ta-da that looks like my pizza this is the best thing I've ever done. I'm not gonna lie. And then this <gasps> margarita. We're going! Woo! We have now come to 
Musketeer Madness. This is like a game show, I think, but we haven't done it yet. So this will be interesting to see how it goes, but it's very empty in here. There's only two other groups of people. Oh yeah, and this is the only one of this group. So if you do want to do it, make sure, there's our sticker. Make sure you check when it is, because there might only be one. Which means our questions could range from our parks, like Magic Kingdom, to our subsidiaries, like Marvel. From our ABC shows like Modern Family to our ESPN sports shows like Monday Night Football. We're three and nine. <laughs> few things to make it a little easier to manage, which are called our mouse tool. The first is called Ask the Mouse Gamasses. This is the one with the hands on your screen. We will turn the question over to the members of our audience and we will give the answer options. They will mash their mitts together in applause to make their determination as to what their answer would be. And that's the one you might want to choose. The other is the mouse two. This takes our multiple choice answers and makes them micro-sized, yes? Think from a four to a measly two, yes. Complete the title of this Disney film. The Princess and the Blank. Is it A, Hippopotamus, B, Wild Boar, C, Frog, or is it D, Armadillo? We're thinking frog. Is that, have you made up your mind? Excellent. We've made up our mouse to mind. Is it C, Frog? Yeah. Woo! Mouse to tear is the answer C, Lion King. Oh, I don't think that. Yes! yes! Woo! You are our first. Woo! Just for you. This is truly a magical moment. <laughs> My dear friend Harlequin will bestow upon you the highest honor we can give here in the Lounge. A Nikki Medallion! Woo! Look who it is! Everyone, it's Goofy and Donald! Alright, who is number one? Do we think it's Donald, everyone? I think that that's the correct answer. We're at Lumiere's again for tea tonight, but I think the menu has changed since yesterday's vlog, so stay tuned to see what we all end up getting tonight. So apparently the menu is different tonight, but that's because it's a four night cruise. We will be eating here twice on this cruise, tonight and on our final night. So there is a different menu only on the four night if you're going to the same restaurant twice. And then on our last night, it will be the menu that we had yesterday. So if you're interested, you can watch yesterday's vlog to see what we got then. So this is the arugula and spinach salad, and this is the clam chowder. This is the chicken starter. We can't remember what it's called, but it starts with a B and it's chicken based. This is the lentil and sweet potato dal. This is the penny arrabbiata. It's the same as the one that we have for lunch. Another chicken dish that we don't know what it actually is. And this is a halibut with some peas. Or maybe a rusty in some sort of This is the Magical Express Sunday. But with no ears because somebody ate them. This is the Kalua Crab Roulette. And this is Mango Cheesecake. Cheesecake. That looks really nice actually. Yeah, no. And then I have, of course, the sorbets, lemon, and uh, fruit salad. I spy Donald Duck once again. Yeah, you're Tonight, Matthew, I'm gonna be Mariah Carey. <laughs> We're out at sea. Yeah. What can we see? Is that a ship over there? A cover there, lost. <gasps> Whoa. Cool. Oh, I'm so glad we've got a balcony. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? So we're currently at karaoke. We had two songs in mind, Box to the Top from High School Musical and I Have a Dream from Tangled and apparently they don't have either of them so it looks like we're not doing karaoke. So we may or may not have just carried karaoke. We couldn't do the songs we wanted so we ended up doing ABBA but we definitely killed it. We were very good. I'm being bad. I'm being bad. 
I think the, I think the audience likes us though. That concludes today's vlog. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave it a massive thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the vlogs. There should be four or five more coming, I can't remember. And then after this trip, we are heading straight to the Grand Prix in Budapest. So make sure to stay tuned for that as well. And other than that, I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye.